wigs as just being a 3D sculpture that goes on top of the head. And that's why I love it, because I, with an art degree background, I just love sculpting and doing things, and that's, I always think of hair as just, it's sculpture on the head. The great thing about wigs are wigs, unlike costumes, when you build a costume, it's specific to a period. You can't take something from a uh, uh, Ampere style and try to make it into a ball gown because it's just the shape does not work. Whereas wigs, all that's I'm dictated by is length and color and I can change the shape, the style, to whatever the period needs. So I do have a lot of wigs just because they will serve a lot of needs. And two, as we get going, I do so many shows that there are times when there may be over a hundred wigs out and about in the city that are all mine that I've designed. I've always loved this show because I treat this like a restoration comedy. Restoration comedies are those great Moliere plays where, you know, it's the 1600s and both the men and women have the crazy hair, you know, it's lots of fun hair and the hair, and part of the fun of the hair is it has to help describe the character. And that's what great is great about this show is because there's a lot of fun hair and all the characters have to be described by what hair and so it comes down to color and the texture and how curly it is. When I was down there ventilating it takes about 40 hours to make a wig from start to finish which means you're making a shape um, that's made out of this lace that fits the actor's head and then you're tying each individual hair into that. For this show, we're actually using vintage tools on this. This is an actual uh, crimping iron that I had from the 1980s. <laughs> and this is what is called a Z iron. It's a curling iron that will, rather than giving you a barrel curl, it'll give you a Z curl that goes back and forth like this. And this came from the 80s and I've been dragging it around. The makeup design is all based off of 80s and it's actually some of the worst of uh, the 80s because it's going to be a lot of that heavy blush, the heavy eye, the vibrant eye colors and all of that which is kind of a challenge for them because they're putting their blush on the cheekbone whereas in the 80s we went underneath the cheekbone a lot to give the high thing and it's also a much fuller lip. I have probably done over I think 65 shows here as wig designer. I got into wig and makeup design uh, way back when I was in uh, my second year in college. I had the opportunity to go out to work at the Santa Fe Opera. He and I worked together. I had to censor some of his choices. <laughs> <laughs> but with Brian, you have to censor most of his choices. So. <laughs> That's very true. It's the first stripper.